Praise the Lord. I wanted to come on and share today um, Philippians uh, 3, verse uh, 19 and 20. And it says, Bear with me. Sorry, verse 20 and 21. And it says, But we are different because our citizenship is in heaven. And from there, we eagerly await the coming of the Saviour, the Lord Jesus Christ, who by exerting that power which enables him even to subject everything to himself, will not only transform, but completely refashion our earthly bodies, so that they will be like his glorious resurrected body. Glory to God one more time. How exciting. But we are different because our citizenship is in heaven. So we belong to heaven, to Jesus. We are citizens of the Most High God. How amazing is that? We are citizens of heaven, of the city of the living God. That's where we belong that's our that's our home it's our it's going to be where we go and stay forever and i was just thinking about this the lord put this on my heart today when i was thinking of what to share and isn't it awesome to know that even though we're here we are citizens of heaven the father he knows our name he calls us by name so he's we, he says the lord's saying you're mine the lord says you're mine he says mine doesn't he the lord says you're mine so as a child of god so we belong to the lord and we're citizens of heaven isn't that amazing and i'll carry on reading if you'll join me it says, so, um, <clears throat> but we are different because our citizenship is in heaven and from there we eagerly await the coming of the Saviour, the Lord Jesus Christ, hallelujah, who by exerting that power which enables him even to subject everything to himself. He subjects everything to Right there, I'm waiting for the. Sorry, I'm using the light off the telly, and the lights off at the moment. Sorry about that. Uh, so there we go. So he because he subjects everything to himself, and so, and then he goes on to say. So who by exerting that power which enables him even to subject everything to himself will not only transform, but completely refashion our earthly bodies to, oh sorry, so that they will be like his glorious resurrected body. Can you imagine? So we're going to be like the Lord in heaven, as a citizen of heaven. Our names are in the book of life. Be encouraged today. Be encouraged. Glory to God. That whatever you're going through, let this encourage you. Let this excite you and me. That whatever we go through, you might not feel like you belong. You might not feel like you belong, you know, in whatever situation you are in. But know that you belong to the Lord. And you're a citizen of heaven as a child of God. You're a citizen of heaven. So you have citizenship of heaven in heaven and he knows you by name your name is written in the book of life and we're going to see the glory of god when we go to the see the lord when when the time is right when whether it be in the rapture whether in whatever way we are going to be reunited with the lord jesus christ and we're going to be with him forever and this is our this is our promise from god 
and it's so exciting and so encouraging to know that when our life is over when the lord calls us at a divine appointment whenever that is and i pray it's in the rapture i just i just believe and believe in god and knowing that you know i'm gonna i'm going in the rapture i decree and declare i'm going in the rapture amen and and so that's going to be our portion how amazing we're going to see the lord he's going to hold you and me and none of the cares of this world that we think so important right now won't, won't matter you know and we're going to be with god so be encouraged today to know you belong to jesus as a child of god you belong to him your citizenship is in heaven your citizenship is in heaven, you and me, and we're going to be there one day. We belong to the living God, and we have him here with us. By his Holy Spirit, you might not feel too good right now. You might feel like everything's falling apart. But know this, that the Lord knows you by name, and you belong to Jesus. That means you and me, we are we have a place to dwell so we are we're housed already in heaven we are given the citizenship in heaven and a dwelling place and we have that blessed assurance from god that we are gods that we are his and that we're going to dwell in heaven and that we belong to the city of heaven. We're going to dwell there. That's our home. That's what I'm trying to say. It's our home. And you are held up by God. By his righteous right hand. And you're not alone. So take heart today. Don't be downcast. Encourage yourself with this word today. Because it encourages me. And know that we are. We belong. We belong to Jesus. We belong, we're his, we're stamped, we're stamped by the Holy Spirit of God. He knows our name and we're going to be there one day and we're going to be given admission into heaven and the Lord has everything under his, in, everything's in, in subjection to the Lord and so we're on the Lord's side, we are in his care, be encouraged today to know that you are not alone and that he sees you, he knows you and you're going to be with him one day in that city of heaven. In Jesus' name, let's pray. Lord, we thank you that we are citizens of heaven, Lord, and we praise you and thank you, Lord. Thank you that by your Holy Spirit, Lord God, we're held up. Even when we don't feel too good, Lord, even when we're feeling like challenges and things that we face are drowning us, Lord, help us to remember that this blessed assurance and this hope that you've given us, Lord, that you know our name, that we are yours, we have a dwelling place in heaven, and that we are citizens of heaven, Lord. We have citizenship, you know our name, and you say that we are yours, you call us by name, and you look at us and you say, that one's mine. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name we pray, amen, amen.